guys, what's up? It's Anna Louise and today's video is a super exciting one because as you can probably tell by the title, I got not only one beta but two new beta fish and uh, I'm so excited. I got them within the span of three days. Yeah, within the span of three days and so I got one on Thursday which was completely unexpected and the other one on Sunday. So yeah, I want to tell you a little bit about like why I got the one at random and then the one that I got Sunday and just explain to you all the details of me getting them and then I'm going to show you them and then we're going to put up one of their new tanks. So let's just go ahead and get right into the video. Okay, so both of my new betas are actually Veil Tails and these are my first two Veil Tails. Um, well, eh, Steve, my baby fish, if you've seen any of my other videos, he is a Veil Tail or Spade Tail. Not for sure which one yet, but he's still a baby, so he's not, like, um, fully developed for you to really tell. So, basically, my new fish are my first two, like, fully grown veil tails. And, yeah, so let's go ahead and just talk about the very first one that I got, what I, which I got on a Thursday. Um, so, basically, my Walmart does not sell betas, but the one in a surrounding county by mine actually does sell betas and I actually was wanting to go to that Walmart to get a new makeup brand to try out and we were going there because I had to try on my wedding dress. I said yes to the dress about a month ago and we had to try it on um, just for a certain reason and so we were going to go to the wedding dress shop which is in that other town but first I wanted to stop off at the Walmart. So we did and I just decided that I wanted just to go see like what kind of betas they had and whenever I did I saw my new fish and I was like he's beautiful and I just knew I had to have him because I've been wanting a veil tail because I like to have an array of different you know types of beta fish and I hadn't had a fully grown one yet and when I saw him his colors were beautiful he looked just like a sunset and he wasn't like really spazzy or anything he was just really sweet and calm and he was just kind of looking at me and I was like oh, my heart <laughs> and I like literally walked around like in the fish department and like you know the pet department for a while just like Anna like <laughs> calm down you know I was trying to be calm and collected about my decision but I just knew I had to have him so I got him and his name is actually Biff so let me go ahead and tell you why I named him Biff um last semester um I am in college me and my friend took American literature together and we loved our professor. It was such an easy class and I wanted to name him in honor of the new semester coming up which starts tomorrow. Uh, I wanted to name him after one of the short stories we read in American history because I really enjoyed that class. It was enjoyable, like it, it was just good. So, um, and all my other betas have, like, reasons behind their names or, like, themes. So, that's why I was kind of sticking with that. And, basically, I ended up naming him Biff after the death of a salesman by Arthur Miller. And that's a play, though. I don't, I actually did not like that play. But I thought Biff was really a cute name. So, that's why I named him Biff. And I was going between Biff or Edgar or Poe for Edgar Allan Poe. Because we did read The Fall of the House of Usher. But then I thought Biff was just kind of more cute, whimsical, and I felt like it fit him better. So his name is Biff. And he's super pretty, and I can't wait to show you him. So, but first I want to tell you about my other new beta, which is the one that we're setting his tank up today. And I got him on Sunday. He is also a Veil Tail. Whenever I walked into Petco, I was absolutely not expecting to get him. And... Petco we don't even have. I had to go an hour away to go to Petco. I was actually returning some things there and I was not expecting to get him but whenever I looked at the betas and everything I saw him and he he just looked so like thin and he was like a little worm which I thought was so cute and also he is the first beta ever to actually follow my finger when I put it up to a cup or their cup. What am I saying? So he like literally just eyed it down and I'm like, oh my gosh, we're making a connection. And I felt so like connected to him and I literally, I kid you not, spent an hour in that store deciding whether I should really get him or not. But the thing is, is he's a Dalmatian like printed colored beta as well. And I've only seen Dalmatian like 
colors on um, like sites from breeders so I felt like at least from what I've noticed that is rare to find like the Dalmatian kind of print in a pet store I had never seen it before I thought it was just beautiful and we made that connection so finally after literally an hour in that store I decided to go ahead and get him and I got him a new tank it's a divided take, which of course is the one we're setting up today that I'm so excited for. I love setting up new tanks and just seeing what they look like. It's so much fun to me. But anyway, and I named him Damon. So I named him Damon and I knew right off that that's what I wanted to name him. And it is from the Vampire Diaries. It's a new show. Well, it's not a new show, but it's a new show that I'm watching. Like I'd never ever watched it before. And so I named it after one of the characters, or him, not it. I named him after one of the characters in the Vampire Diary. So his name's Damon. And his little Dalmatian like spots are red. So it reminds me of like little blood drips or whatever, you know, because vampire and everything. So I thought his name fit perfectly. And he's so precious and so sweet. And I cannot wait to get him in his new home. But without further ado, let me go ahead and show you them. So basically, Biff is in my 10 gallon, which I don't know if you've seen my. Um, video of me putting this together but I will link it above if you haven't. I have all these empty slots. I'm going to divide it again for betas and I had already gotten this from a friend and I had these plants like left over and I had gotten this new. So basically everything was in here except for this and I thought it would be really good for him to go in here and he's in the back. <laughs> oh wait is he coming around the side? I really want you guys to see him but he's like literally trying to hide. Biff. Uh, silly boy. He actually comes to the um, tank like in the front and follows my finger some which I love. Like I love when they follow the finger. It's so cute when they do that. So I really wish he would come out of hiding because I do not see him. Oh he's in the very back. Me oh my Biff. See him here in the back? <laughs> he sees that I'm here now. Maybe I can just give him a second to get woken up, and I'll go ahead and show you my other new beta, Damon. So here's Damon. He's going to go right here, because as you know, unfortunately, my new fish, or not my new fish, but my rescue beta died, and it was terrible and horrible, and I'm really sad. Um, so he is going to go right here, and here he is. He's course in his cup. Here he is. I hope you guys can tell his Dalmatian spots. Of course, he's not in a tank with light right now, so you can't tell as well, but here he is, and those spots just remind me of, like, <laughs> the blood droplets. Not trying to be gruesome at all. I mean it, like, in a cute way <laughs> because of his vampire name, you know. But he's got such a sweet little face. See, look. Well, I thought he looked at my finger right on it. But he's so sweet, and I love the Dalmatian look. Like I say, I've never seen one at a pet store. And oh my gosh, do you see on his fin right here, that like clear white? That's on both of them, and it literally reminds me of Edward Scissorhands. The, he's got like sword, um, swords on his fins. That's what it looks like to me. He's so cool and unique. I think he knows he's on camera. Let's see about Biff. Biff really, he's still hiding. Well, I'm still going to insert pictures of Biff because he is hiding. So you can see him better. I don't understand this child. He's hiding behind the green plant in the back. But yeah, let's just go ahead and start setting up Damon's tank. And I will come back to Biff because I really don't know what his issue is. <laughs> so yeah. Here's Biff. Is it blurry? I can't tell. But do you see all of his pretty sunset colors? All the orange, red, purple, blue, pink. And he's hiding again. He must be camera shy.
you guys so I really hope that you enjoyed this video and also I'm going to go ahead and leave my social media um, my Twitter handle right here so you guys can go follow me on Twitter because I do do updates um, on my fish and talk about the fish stuff and everything on there so you guys can follow me and yeah so I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe which you can do by hitting my face right here and you can watch another one of my videos by clicking right here and it would mean the world to me if you would do so and yeah so I hope you have a great day or night or whenever you may be watching this and I'll see you guys in my next video